Welcome to the Shine Turbine instructional video. Today, we'll cover everything you need to know to generate power from the wind with Shine. In this video, you'll find the following sections. Overview, pre-charging, operating conditions, setup, charging, and takedown. Now, let's get to know Shine and its parts. Remove Shine's blade band and lid and you'll find the mount, pegs, and guy wires. Looking at Shine stowed, you'll see that it has a USB micro B and USB type A port. Before first use, plug Shine into a wall outlet. You'll know that its battery is fully charged when you see its LED flash red, purple, and blue. While you wait for your turbine to reach full charge, let's review Shine's operating conditions. For your safety, only ever use Shine in wind speeds between 8 to 28 miles per hour or temperatures between 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. Never use Shine in winds above 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour. Plus, you should always check the wind forecast before using the turbine. For a pro tip, you can use an anemometer to measure the wind speed at the height of the turbine. Now, let's get into setup. To maximize power generation, you'll want to set up shine away from obstacles that could obstruct wind flow like tents, trees, and physical structures. Shine is only intended to be set up on soft natural ground such as dirt, grass, and sand. Never attempt to set up on concrete, pavement, or rock. Now it's time to start building. Remove all the parts from shine and empty them out onto the ground. You'll see it has its mount, pegs, and guy wires then place the lid back on shine. What we're going for is a perfectly vertical and secure mount. To do this, assemble the mount and insert the spiked end vertically into the soft ground. Next, open up the guy wires and put the guy wire ring between the second and third mount rods. Then, evenly distribute the guy wires around the mount. Now, it's time for the pegs. Open the bottom loop of each guy wire tensioner and hook a peg through the guy wire loop. Next, stake each peg into the ground at a 45 degree angle. Pro tip, use the bottom of your shoe to push the pegs deeper and more securely into the ground. Next, increase the tension of all three guy wires until the mount is perfectly vertical and secure. This may take some time and you'll want to circle around your setup making adjustments as required. Once the mountain guy wires are perfectly vertical and secure, it's time to grab your turbine and open its blades. Attach the lid tool to Shine's blade hinge. Then follow the unlock symbol by turning it counterclockwise until you feel some tension and it come to a stop. At this point, you know that the blade is ready to be opened. Once you open the blade, proceed to lock it by following the lock symbol. Now repeat this step for all three blades. Double check that they're all locked at 90 degrees and then you can proceed to put the lid back on the turbine. We're ready to make some wind energy. To do this, find the hole that's on the bottom of the turbine and put it on the rounded mount end. Step away carefully from the turbine and watch it do its thing. Always keep an eye on your turbine while it's operating and be cautious when approaching it. To charge a device when operating, carefully approach Shine from its lid and turn it perpendicular to the direction of the wind. Using both hands, you can pull the turbine up off of the mount in order to insert the USB cable into the USB-A port. While holding the turbine, you can then loop the other end of the cable through the guy wire hook. Note, do not let the USB cable interfere with rotating blades. Make sure there is enough slack on the cable to allow the turbine to rotate freely, just like this. Next, all you have to do is plug in your device. Pro tip, you can also charge your devices when shine is stowed. Here's how to take down shine. Carefully approach the lid of shine, being mindful to avoid the rotation of the blades. Place one hand on the lid and turn Shine's body perpendicular to the direction of the wind. With two hands on the front and back of Shine, carefully remove it from the mount. Then you can proceed to close the blades for stowage. 
Just like when opening the turbine's blades, now we're going to close them. You can use the lock and unlock symbol to do this, then place the lid tool back on the turbine. Now it's time to disassemble the mount. You can do this by lifting the guy wire and pulling out each peg. Do this all three times. Pro tip, you can even use the grass to remove the dirt off the pegs. Next, remove the guy wire from the second and third rod, then take out the mount from the ground. Again, use the grass to remove any dirt and debris from the mount. Disassemble the mount by folding all six sections side by side. Then neatly insert the parts back into shine starting with the guy wires, then the pegs, and the mount. It may take you a couple tries to get it right, but once you figure it out, you'll be a pro in no time. Once everything's back in shine, you can then put the lid back on the turbine and then place the blade band back on, and just like that, it's all stowed and ready to go. When storing the turbine, make sure you choose a climate controlled environment between 10 degrees to 26 degrees Celsius or 50 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're storing shine for an extended period of time, make sure the battery is at least 50 to 60% charged. This will prolong the longevity of your battery. Never store shine in a hot vehicle or temperatures above 60 degrees as that can cause the battery to degrade. Now that's a wrap. Time to get out and enjoy the world of wind power. Thanks for watching.